Yes, come in. Oh, hi, Zainab. Have a seat first. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what is the problem? Uh, actually, I have a problem with the meat that you supply to me, which okay. your factory uh, supply to my shop. Yeah. Which is, uh, the problem is the smell of the meat, the texture and the colour. Mm -hmm. So I think the problem is with the packaging of the meat. So can can you have, uh, did, did you have something that can solve this problem? Oh, I see. So from what I can see, uh, I think I have the solution for you. Which is, uh, I can suggest you a meat packaging filler. Which is, it will contain about material selection mm -hmm. and then process selection production process, testing and quality control, effect of the parameter on the performance, lastly, defect and the countermeasure. So, I will explain to you about the meat packaging film. For meat packaging, there are several factors that can relate, for, that can be a total of meat packaging. Firstly, it is material selection, then process selection, production process, testing and quality control, Effect of parameter on the performance and defect and countermeasure. For material selection, firstly, there is a whole lot of material in this world. So, from all the materials, we need to select the most uh, optimum material that is used for our process. From all material, we will do a translation, and then from uh, after translation, we can use a screening, and after the screening, we will get the points for each material. And then we will do the ranking. After we do the ranking, we can make a documentation. From the documentation, we can finally select the final material. Firstly, translation. The function of translation is uh, for our process is make packaging film. The constraints for, for our material is it should be good chemical resistance, good gas and moisture barrier, medium rigidity and high impact resistance. The objective, the objective of our material is to increase shelf life and food contact safety. The free variable of our material choice is the choice of materials. For the screening method, we, we will do screening based on 5 materials such as polyethylene PE, PET, nylon PA, uh, polystyrene PS and polyvinyl chloride PVC. The material characteristics that we will take into our screening is density, yield strength, fracture toughness, machinability, and transparency. Uh, based on all of this, we can see that the density is uh, somewhat alike, very tough, but we will still need to choose the most, uh, the most dense. The yield strength should be the most tough. The fracture toughness also we need the highest fracture toughness, machinability. We will choose based on uh, all of the other because the machinability seems to be the same and based on the transparency, only polystyrene is uh, optical quality, the others are translucent. For the ranking, uh, we do ranking based on the points of the, of the screening we did before this. So based on, on our ranking, the, it shows that polyethylene Polyamides and polyvinyl chloride are the most suitable uh, of the five materials. The next step, we will do documentation. After uh, selecting the three materials from uh, ranking, we see that the three materials are polyvinyl chloride, polyamide, and polyethylene. Polyethylene will be used as the inner layer, uh, the contact with the meat. The polyamide is uh, the second layer which protects the meat from air and gas substances. While finally, the polyvinyl chloride is the outer layer that will protect the meat uh, from uh, water or aqueous surfaces. Therefore, uh, uh, by combining all three materials, we will create a multi-layer film. Next, I will explain about the process selection. Uh, for, this, for the process selection, uh, it, this will indicate the process that we will use to create the film. Uh, first, we will look at the all process and then the translation, then the screening, documentation, and the final process. Okay, uh, here is the translation part. Uh, for the function, is the meat packaging film, as, as told earlier. And then the constraint is a bit different, where the material is the multi-layer film. 
the shape is the sheet film and the thickness is around 0.08 mm. Okay, the objective is the longer shelf life. And then the free variable is the choice of material and the choice of process. Next is the screening concept. Uh, from the screening concept, uh, we have blow molding, co compression molding, injection molding or thermoplastic, polymer extrusion, vacuum thermoforming. Based on the screening, uh, all the material is is a go, while the shape that is a, the injection molding, thermoplastic and the vacuum thermoforming, we cut it off. For the mass, uh, we choose all. And then for the thickness, uh, we only choose polymer extrusion and vacuum thermoforming. While the economic batch size, we only choose compression molding and polymer extrusion. And then uh, after all that is done, we will continue with the polymer extrusion and the vacuum thermoforming. Uh, uh, wait, sorry. Uh, we will only continue with the polymer extrusion. Next is the documentation where the process. Uh, we there is three uh, three process which is extrusion process, cast extrusion process, and then the vacuum pack process. Uh, the, my friend will explain about this later. Next, we are moving to processing of raw material by using extrusion process. First of all, material enters through the lid hopper and then conveyed through the barrel. Heat is generated by the friction of the screw turning. Then we melt the materials usually come from the motor. And then as the screw turns, reaction is a push again the molten material, forcing that the material out the other end. As as the hot soft plastic image it take the shape of the hole if passed through a long slit makes a sheet film. A circular opening make pipe of a tube to be blown out to thin to thin the film. As the roll of film increase in diameters, the thicker film builds on itself and the thinner film is stretches. And then we can get the multi-layer film. Next, we are moving to processing of film by using cast extrusion process. This is the flow chart of the cast extrusion process. We start from the granules of the different plastic are melted separately and the melts are broke together in the extruder. The combined plastic then uh, extrude as a single product in which the ex the co extruded layers bond directly to each other. Then, combined polymer travel through a flat die system to adopt its final flat film shape. And then, the die system is formed and the die and fit lock. Immediately after existing the dye, the molten curtain enter the cooling unit where the temperature is lowered with water cool sheet roll. And then when the film is passed downstream where the edge are trimmed. Finally, the film warm onto a roll. Lastly, the thickness of the film were measured to be about 0.09 millimeter. Okay, we move to the next one, which is testing and quality control or QC. Okay, there are three uh, testing and quality control, which is strength properties, uh, barrier properties, layer and thickness identification. Okay. The next one is effect of parameter on the performance of meat tray packaging. The first one, moisture and gas. The, uh, the second one is color of the meat. And the third one, barrier properties. 
Okay, we move to the types of defects and countermeasure. There is three of moisture release, uh, including bubbles or forming of the melt, uh, wet line on filament packaging, and holes in the filament. Okay, uh, for the countermeasure, there is two uh, countermeasure that uh, include. Uh, the first one, reliable resin manufacturers, supply, nylon dry and ready to use. The second one, maximum allowable moisture content, 0.1%. Okay, we move to the conclusion. As we can uh, see, uh, we can conclude the fresh meat is a sensitive product. Consumer expect a minimum shelf life of 10 days including the pre preservation of the color. The second one, uh, selection, mat uh, selection materials, packaging methods and storage environments are the key to obtain high quality packaged meat products. Some challenges remain such as potential negative impact on product sensory attributes, increased costs and difficulty in achieving standard standardized. Coating procedure for large scale commercial operation. Okay, the last one, more research uh, is needed to improve the manufacturing and application process of edible coating and filming intent, intent uh, for the meat industry. That's all from us. Thank you. Oh, now I get it. So I think I hope that all the explanation you told me just now, I hope that we can, that we can solve the problem with the packaging and solve the problem that I told you before. Uh, so I think that's all. Lah. Sure, I hope that I will help you a lot. Thank you, Miss Aina. Thank you.